brethren, January is gone. February had passed away. March is totally gone. April ended. And here we are this morning. The last day in the month of May. In other words, in the sacredness, he kept you in January. In his faithfulness and mercy, he kept you February, March, April. He started May with you as the Alpha and the Omega. And he's ending May with you. He did not allow May to see your end. But you are the one seeing the end of May. Can you lift up your hand and lift up your voice and begin to show your gratitude and begin to give God praise for many are the battle that the Lord has fought for you. He supplied all your need and met you at the point of your need. He never allowed your enemy to destroy you. God kept you. God stood by you. He showed you mercy. He showed his loving kindness. Brother, go ahead and express your gratitude. Go ahead and give God praise for all the Lord has done for you. For all the Lord has done for your family. For all the Lord has done in your business, your ministry, your career. Our God desires the praise. The psalmist say, oh come and let us magnify the Lord together. Ah, my Santalia. He said, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Ah, my Ripo Takasanda. Can we magnify the King of glory? Can we magnify the God that is already magnified and cannot be magnified? Ah, my Reka Kapayala. Say Ketelele Kasuntalia. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him for defending you, for standing by you, for hearing your cry, for this part of grace for multiplication. Ah, exalt the name of the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord. Exalt the name of the Lord. Show your gratitude to your Maker. To the lion of the tribe of Judah, to the lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon, to the one who always and wish to call, to the unchangeable changer, the lamb of God, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Go ahead, appreciate him this morning. Exhort the Lord this morning. Oh, brother, let God hear your voice. Brother, let God hear your voice. Because we can never thank him enough. That's why the songwriter say, Count your blessing, name them one by one. For if our. If, but, but if, I, if we have 10,000 tongues, it's not enough to give him thanks. Appreciate him. Oh, my Santa Lova. Karababa Kashetelia. If I have 10,000 tongues, it won't be enough. I say, Shuku Napoya Rele. When you heal, you heal completely. Shuku na robi bo, you see kendule. I say na reke le mo. Washa la renda, washa la renda. Ah, want to Jehovah. Oh yes, Lord. He has done so very much for me. What shall I render? What shall I render? Ah, unto Jehovah. For He has done. For He has done so very much for me. And so, Father, we are grateful. Almighty God, we are grateful. We are grateful over our lives. We are grateful over your church. We are grateful over Good Morning Holy Spirit. 
We are grateful for our nation, Nigeria, that is at peace. Daddy, I set our worship in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we are grateful for January. We are grateful for February. We are grateful for March. Lord, we are grateful for April. Lord, we are grateful for you started May with us. You never allow May to see our end. We are the ones seeing the end of May. We are the one waving me bye bye. May did not wave us bye bye. Many are the battle you fought for us. Many are the victory you have given to us. Many are the evil you have taken away from us. Thank you for preserving our life, for preserving our soul. Thank you for being there for us at all times. Thank you for all and increase. Thank you for grace for multiplication. Thank you for making your countenance to shine upon us. Thank you for not allowing the wicked to rejoice over all. Lord, I said our thanks in the name of Jesus. Daddy, what do we have to give to you than to say thank you? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Lord, I said our worship in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we have come this morning not to ask for anything. But to say, Lord, we are grateful. But to say, Lord, you are loving. But to say, Lord, you are caring. But to say, Lord, if not for you that have been on our side, even the enemy, they will have rejoiced over us. That they have said our thanks in the name of Jesus. That we have brought you sacrifice of thanksgiving. Lord, we have brought you sacrifice of our praises. Today, O oh God. May our sacrifices not be rejected. Lord, you will accept our sacrifices. Thank you, mighty Father. For we pray in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to teach you one simple song that the Holy Ghost taught me this morning. Be seated in his, in his presence. It's a simple song. It was when I was full of gratitude and thanking him for his faithfulness and for all he has done that the song came repeatedly. It's in Yoruba, pardon me. He says, This is my sacrifice of thanksgiving, Lord. Father, I set my sacrifice of thanksgiving. Simple song. Ebo pe mi mare o e. Ebo pe mi mare o baba. Simple. Praise God. Ebo me sacrifice. O pe mi thanksgiving. So can you say with me? Epo pe mi mare o e Epo pe mi mare o baba da 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 Epo pe mi mare o e Baba mi, e bo pe mi mare o baba. Hey, money e bo pe mi mare o. Hey, aye ra ye holuwa o bo pe mi mare o baba. No, you are not getting it. You are drawing it. E bo pe mi mare o. Hey, hey, hey. E bo pe mi mare o baba. Not Mare O Baba. Oba Pe mi Mare O Baba. 
e po pe mi mare o e e po pe mi mare o baba dan 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 e po pe mi mare o e aye raye baba mi e po pe mi mare o baba I say, money ever pay me money, oh, eh. I hear, I hear, Baba, wa ever pay me money, oh, Baba. Eh, da da da, da da da, da 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 da. Ever pay me money, oh, eh. Baba, me look at you, eh. Ever pay me money, oh, Baba. Ever pay me money, oh, eh, eh, eh. Ebo pe mi mare o baba Ebo pe mi mare o baba mi Ebo pe mi mare o eh 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 Ebo pe mi mare o baba Where is your sacrifice of thanksgiving Ebo pe mi mare o Can you carry that sacrifice Eh 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 Ebo pe mi mare o baba Ah da 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 I can't hear you. I don't know whether you are feeling what I am feeling. Ebo pe mi mare o baba mi baba mi baba mi baba mi Ebo pe mi mare o baba Ah da 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 Ebo pe mi mare o Hey 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 Ebo pe mi mare o baba Baba ko pe ti mamu wa Aye ra ye ko pe mi Atori she ko pe I could die a year, but for me, I bought for me, Mario. Hey, Baba, me look at you. I bought for me, Mario, Baba. That is single release. Let's have a little shout, Hallelujah. Single what? Release from who? Eh? From the Holy Spirit. Let's have a little shout, Hallelujah. Very sweet one. I was just singing it and I lost control and I just begin to dance. Praise the Lord. I just, I just, I just thought of goodness of God. When I think all the goodness of Jesus upon me, and all He, he has done for me, and for me. My very soul, my very soul, I shout, Hallelujah! Praise God for saving me. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, Lord? I will praise your name. Amen. I don't know whether that's your own thought. Need to repay a million times. We pay for it. Amen. 
sorry for those of us that don't understand Yoruba. But the truth is that when a matter is serious, you express it well in the local dialect. That's why I'm not despising you at all. I'm just, I'm just thinking how good this God is. Amen, somebody? When you were sleeping, who was watching over you? If the enemy had just come near your bed, and it's just a knock on your head. You will wake up with margarine. Before you know it, the margarine is not able to be treated. And they say you had passed on. May it never be your portion. Is God good at all? Can you give him a big hand? A big hand. A big hand. So all throughout today, what will your son be? Amen. That is the chorus. By Sunday, you will hear the solo. Praise God. Uh, the same Holy Spirit will help us to work on the solo. And then it will now become full song. You can please be seated. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I love that. Who's, who is worthy to take our thanksgiving, if not him? Praise the Lord. Well, we are looking this morning at efficacy of thanksgiving and praise. What do I call it? Don't mind the grammar. If you cannot say efficacy, you say the potency. That's another grammar. Praise God. The potency of thanksgiving and praise. And if that one is too strong, then you come to my level. The power of thanksgiving and praise. Praise the Lord. Join me. Take our Bible reading from the book of John chapter 6. John. John. <laughs> Praise God. John 6. Are we there? Verse 5 to 13. When Jesus then lifted up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he said unto Philip, When shall we buy bread that this may eat? And this is said to prove him. For he himself knew what he will do. Then what did he know? Let's find out. Philip answered him, 200 penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother said unto him, There is a lad here which had five barley loaves and two, and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? And Jesus said, May the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So men sat down in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves and when he had what? I can't hear loud and clear. When he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples <laughs> and the disciples to them that were set down. And likewise, all the fishes, as much as 
they would. And when they were filled, he said unto the disciples, Gather up the fragment that remain, that nothing be lost. Verse 13. Therefore, they gather them together and fill twelve baskets with the fragment of the five barley loaves, which remain over and above unto them that had eaten. Praise the Lord. We are talking about the efficacy of thanksgiving and praise. Brethren, though the month is ending today, and by tomorrow we'll be starting a new team tied to the unlimited God. Though the month may be ending, but your own season of multiplication can continue. Praise God. What did I say? Yes, we are ending the month today. And all of our team is for each month. But what I'm telling us this morning is that though the month is ending today, the month of grace for more duplication. But for you and I, it could be a season of continuous multiplication if only we know what to do. The Bible says when Jesus was in their need of multiplication, though what was available was not sufficient, humanly speaking, but the Bible says he knows what to do. And shortly, we receive the revelation of what he knows what to do. And what did he do? The Bible says, for the little that was available, he was grateful for it. Are you grateful for that boy's cutter? Are you grateful for that small room? Are you grateful for that bicycle, for that motorbike? Are you grateful for that one shirt, one shoe, one slippers? Are you grateful for that little that you have? The lesson to learn here this morning is that God of multiplication honors gratitude. If you are grateful for the little you have, you are bound to assess much. Jesus did not complain. Jesus did not grumble. That I want to feed 5,000. What can five barley loaves of bread do among 5,000? Or two fishes? But with a grateful heart, he went before his father to tell him, I am not even expected to have even seen bread at all. Because one of them already said, How can you talk about bread here? We don't have to send somebody outside to go and buy. And even how much do we even have to go and buy? And because he had heart of gratitude, what was not enough became more than enough. Can I prophesy into the life of somebody here this morning that in that name that is above every other name, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 
that that is not enough in your life today shall be more than enough very soon only one person is saying amen I decree one more time I don't know the lack in your life I don't know the scarcity in your life I don't know the shortages in your life but that that is not enough today is going to be more than enough learn from our Lord Jesus Christ you can be seated learn from him give thanks for that one room give thanks for that room Apollo the God of room Apollo is the God of mansion the God of B2 is the God of Jeep if you are grateful that you can even find money to enter Okada you know there was a day in my life I left Agbara to go and teach digging deep in our parish, Living Waters Parish in Badagri, which is a provincial quarter today. I was the one to take the digging deep Tuesday. I took the digging deep finish. Oh boy, I gave offering with my last kobo, the Josh Ali by finish. And I'm going to Agbara. I've shared the testimony here several days. Sir, no money. No what? No money. But I just believe that I'll get home. I stood at the bus stop, but I grew up about whether I'll even find somebody that know me to give me a lift. I waited for hours. And I said, let me be trekking. I trek oh, for the roundabout. I got to French village. I asked myself, Am I trekking to Agbara this night? It's already a past eight. So I just walk past the French village. There is a road beside it that link another old road. I bust out at that old road and I begin to go back to run about again. Lo and behold, by the side of the road, I saw my father's former driver who now drive passenger bus. And inside the vehicle was himself and conductor. And what were they doing? They were balancing account. They were counting money. Praise God. So I stood by the vehicle. I said, ah. He asked, what are you doing here by now? I said, I'm still around. Praise God. After all, if I'm not around, will you see me there? <laughs> Then I say, the eyes we see. Huh? Huh? The eyes we see, Monsieur. Well. Monsieur. Sure. He say, oh, you, you don't need all this. I say, who told you? This one? This one? <laughs> no, you must set me out of this one. He say, well, just take. He gave me either 500 or 1,000 naira. And all I needed for transport was just like that. 200 naira, be 100 naira. Praise God. And I pocketed it. And I moved back to the runabout again. Then I can now say, Agbara, Agbara, Agbara. And I enter. Praise God. Praise God. And you, you have money to enter Okada. And you are still complaining that your mates are riding car. Are you grateful for the one you have? There are those that doesn't have. Maybe it doesn't happen to you before. You want to go out. Do you know the day I appreciated God for that thing that happened to me was when Daddy Joe was not sharing his testimony. That when they moved to camp, they want to go to Buteneta for meeting or service. No one couple. Why? Because they will have to pay two gates. Hello? And they will not have a dime. He said he will turn to his wife and say, God does not want us to go today. Maybe there will be an accident. That's why. <laughs> Let's all shout hallelujah. <laughs> they don't have. So when I now had that testimony, 
I glorify God. I did what? That it is season. It is condition. The same fellow that thought digging deep and does not have money to go home today. Hey, at this. Not that we have car. But God has used us to bless somebody with car. Amen, somebody. Can I ask you, sir? Can I ask you, man? Are you grateful at all for the little you have? That is what Jesus knew that the disciple did not know. But the Bible says, for he himself what? knew what to do. And you read Psalm 67, verse 5 to 7, the Bible says, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. And God, even our God, shall do what? Shall bless us. He said, God shall bless us. And all the end of the earth shall do what? Shall fear him. Brethren, these things are not written just for writing's sake. They are written because God wants us to know that praise and thanksgiving is powerful. You can use it to elongate your season of multiplication by being continuously grateful, by being a habitual worshiper. Praise the Lord. Heart of gratitude and heart of thanksgiving is key to God. Don't murmur. Don't complain. Praise the Lord. The question is, how can we praise and thank the Lord? Number one, do it genuinely and do it intentionally. You can imagine the level you worship God that you begin to compose some that you are not writing. You begin to receive inspiration. Amen. If I were to be gospel artist with the song I received this morning, is a song that can launch me everywhere. Praise God. Professional would just add the mangi and the uh, and the curry, and before you know it, it becomes very sweet. Even without the professional self. Dun, 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 That one alone, no, it's not sweet. Let's all shout hallelujah. <laughs> I said, let's all shout hallelujah. <laughs> do it genuinely, do it intentionally. Do it with all your heart. Brother, be grateful. Let me one of us be grateful. The level you are today, there are people that are still asking God, let me be there. Is you that is thinking you don't have anything? Sir, some people are looking at you and they know you have. Am I correct? I told you yesterday jokingly. I said you are in Lagos. Do you know how many people are fasting and praying to be in Lagos? You are complaining you are not in London. Amen. Are you grateful for Lagos first? Do it genuinely. Do it intentionally. Do it with all your hearts. Number two, let nothing be too small to thank God for. Let what? Don't ever think that this one is too little. That your resource, that your hearing. Thank God for it. Don't say I'm not putting on gold, gold, gold earring. Whether it is shiny or not, very soon you will wear pure gold. Who is God speaking to? That your wardrobe that I don't appreciate. Very soon you are going to clear it and God will renew your wardrobe. Whatever level you are finding yourself, show gratitude. Don't say it's too small. I am not there yet. That's why I pity people when it comes to Thanksgiving and they are just doing a witch, witch wash. No, sir. 
let nothing be too small to thank God for. And also, let nothing be too big to thank God for. Let them be too up. And let nothing be too big for you to offer to God. There is nothing too big to do all to offer unto the Lord. Nothing too big. Learn from Solomon that gave a thousand offering. If you are here, you still think that you can outgive God. You are deceiving yourself. You cannot. Praise God. Number four, I've been with number nine. Four. Give God thanks and praise with a pure heart. Not grudgingly. Not with bitterness. Not with malice. Not with unforgiveness. With a pure heart. That's why God says, even if you bring your sacrifice to the altar and you know you have an issue with your neighbor, your brother, your brother, say, go and resolve it before you come back. God expects your thanksgiving to be with pure heart. Somebody will say about daddy, we have been praising God and thanking God. Nothing is increasing. Are you doing with pure hearts? Are you doing with pure hearts? Is your heart pure? And lastly, you want to appreciate God? You want to thank God? And you want to increase? You want to be blessed that the whole earth will fear God? Sir, Ma, know it today. I repeat, know it today. Let your thanksgiving be more than your request. Let your what? Be more than what? Your request. Anytime you are praying, let your thanksgiving be more than what? Because God has done much more for you than what you are asking for. You are asking for one thing. What are the several other things he has done for you? Hello? Uh, what did he do for me? Sir, the day, God forbid, your bread will cease and they will have to buy oxygen for you to breathe. You will know God is doing a lot. The day, God forbid, say amen. Your kidney will have problem. And you have to have dialysis of 30,000 naira per day before you can excrete urine. Then you appreciate God. You just be going home now. You say, ah, I'm feeling prayer. Let me, we, we. You just go by the fence of the new beauty. And you just... <laughs> That's why I shout hallelujah. <laughs> you just feel like that. I just say, after all, ha, there are people that cannot be. Stand on your feet. <laughs> but that is the truth. Sir, that is the truth. That is the truth. We don't take all these things for granted. Is somebody ready to praise the Lord? Prepare your thanksgiving. In the next few minutes we are gone. Praise God. I have only one minute left. So I just take about three or so minutes extra and then we are out. Which of the sacrifice or thanksgiving you have brought like I've always told you, if you are giving one couple for offering and you are doing it with thanksgiving, either you double it or you triple it. If you are giving the same thing, that means you are giving only offering. So you are combining your offering and your thanksgiving together so that we do two in one and then we'll be on our way. Praise God. Are we ready? Where are we starting from? Huh? Where are we starting from? Uh -huh. God bless you. You know where to start from. When you have seen that one, then you can from here sing your own. But sing this one way. <laughs> Little the thanksgiving and offering. I want you to tell God and say, Father, I key into your word. I don't want my season of multiplication to end today. But it should be a continuous experience. Give me grace to continually thank you and accept my sacrifice or thanksgiving today. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Over to the choir. Hey. 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 
Make a pronouncement in that name that is above every other name. Multiplication will never cease in your life, increases will never cease in your life. Receive grace to be grateful to God, receive grace to be full of praises. Let the oil of worship flow upon your life. Let the oil of praises flow upon your life. Receive the heart of gratitude. May the Lord not reject your sacrifices. May the Lord not reject your worship. May the Lord not reject your thanksgiving. I 
And for the sacrifice you have brought to the Lord this morning, may the fire of a Satan consume it in the name of Jesus. And because you have come to show gratitude for all that the Lord has done for you this month in this program, as you begin the new month tomorrow, much more shall the Lord do for you in the name of Jesus. And you never know it better yesterday. From glory to glory, the Lord will lift you. From increase to increase, the Lord will lift you. In multiplying, the Lord will keep multiplying you. Multiplying your finances. Multiplying your joy, your peace, your anointing, your progress, your glory, your favor. In the name of Jesus. As you go, the Lord go with you. Go and be blessed. Go and conquer. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. See you tomorrow as we take authority over the new month. The grace.